In this Zoomda tutorial, I'm going to be going over one of three techniques used to create space for competing frequencies. The first technique we're going to be doing is just by using simple equalization to carve out areas of specific instruments that are competing for the same frequencies. We just have these two instruments that have areas that are competing for frequencies. So we're going to look at just this synth lead here and this pad. We want the more important element to be punching through the mix more, so we're going to take the less important element and EQ out some of the area for that to make room for the more important element. So between 700 and 900 are some pretty prominent frequencies of the synth. So I'm going to go into the second synth that we have that's competing for the same frequencies and zero in on some of those frequencies to see where they're competing. So right here you can see between the 700 and the 900, which is the frequencies we are focusing on the lead, there is some information. So what we can do is simply just reduce the EQ volume. Open up our quality a little bit. And we're just creating a bit of space in this EQ for the lead to come through and not compete with these frequencies. So we're taking out quite a bit of information, but that's okay because we're not losing too much of the actual pad sound. So we'll turn off this EQ, we'll go back into the original sound, and we'll hear them with and without the EQ. So we've created a, just a bit of clarity for that lead to punch through this pad just a little bit more. Make sure to check out the next two videos in the playlist in the description for sidechain processing on equalization and sidechain compression. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get more two minute tutorials and other videos like this.